Well, it says I've got 34 miles remaining. That's a lie. I saw a video once or read a list, I don't remember which, but it was of bad habits that bikers have. And one of them was like, you know, revving your engine at the stoplight. One of them, number two, was dropping your bike. If dropping your bike is a bad habit, you might need to rethink some life choices. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to drop that. It's just a habit. So this is where lane splitting comes in handy. We're all just sitting here. I could be moving at least let me go up the side lane and if an emergency vehicle comes along I will get out of the way but chances are I'll be home before that happens you know I get that lane splitting can be dangerous if it's if it's not done well people don't know what they're doing I saw a video the other day one of my co-workers showed it to me of a guy getting cut off when he was lane splitting and I watched the video and even somebody who doesn't lane split all the signs were there I'm like well he should have known that space was right there and a car could have pulled in front of it. He was going way too fast for cutting in between traffic. And I'm not trashing on the guy that got clobbered. You know, he definitely paid the paid the price. I'm just saying there were signs that he could have seen. So yeah, there is a place for lane splitting. Anyways, that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about music on the motorcycle. Now, this is a way over discussed topic. The bottom line is listen to music if you like it. Don't listen to music if, if you don't want to listen to it. It's okay. Personally, I like music on the motorcycle. Most of the time, not all the time. I'm a rhythm machine. You know what I mean. You know, music is a powerful force. We grow up with it. It's a point of nostalgia for us. It motivates us, it moves us. It's not just noise. To most people, I imagine to some, maybe. But you can hear that song when you were younger and it'll take you right back there so quick. How many songs can you sing along with even though you haven't heard it 10 or 20 years oh yeah this is how that goes music's a big deal now on the motorcycle you know there are people who don't like music on the motorcycle personally i prefer tunes most of the time not all the time if i'm really having a hard time clearing my head i've found that just shutting the music off and riding helps a lot now you know if i'm moto vlogging i don't really get to listen to music but that's okay because we're talking that would be rude but i like music on the bike and I have all kinds of tastes. Now, I'll listen to some funk now and then, F-U-N-K. I know sometimes the audio doesn't come through real well. You know, I'll listen to country now and then, I'll listen to metal now and then. My generation metal, not the new stuff. You know, I listen to progressive, I listen, I listen to all kinds of stuff. Depends what kind of a mood I'm in. There's really nothing like getting on the bike, slamming on a little Ramstein, and boom, cutting through traffic. At the same time, you're riding along and some little known Steppenwolf song comes on. I'm not talking about Born to be Wild, that's so cliche. But some little known Steppenwolf song, some Hendrix or Mata Hoople or pretty much anything from a given era. And it almost transports you back there. A you know, little T-Rex, I'm just saying. Birds. Big Birds fan on the motorcycle. What I'm in the mood for. The music on the bike is one of the reasons I really like to have, wear a helmet. I mean, besides the safety thing, my earbuds are in here and I can play it over Bluetooth really easy. I'd actually get rid of the mic boom if it wasn't for, well, these videos and the fact that it's nice to be able to change playlists when you're, when you're riding. You know, I used to be able to take phone calls and all that stuff, but nah, I don't do that anymore. It's just too hard to hear somebody when you're on the bike. Well, I was on the way down to Daytona and somebody called me and I'm like, hello? And it sounded like my wife. And I thought she said, I didn't mean to interrupt you while you were skydiving. And I thought, well, maybe I didn't hear that very well. Maybe she said, while you were riding. And I was like, yeah, I can't really hear you very well. She's like, so call me back. Okay, I'll call you back. So I got to the next gas station and I went to call her back. My wife's like, I didn't call you. Huh. Okay then. And there was no record of the call in my recent calls. It's just, it's like it never happened. I'm riding, I shut my phone off. 
because if it happened again with my phone shut off, then, you know, woo. So I'm riding along, I'm thinking, man, she's going to be pissed when he doesn't call back after he's done skydiving. But anyways, back to music. So I like listening to music on the bike. Now, there are some problems with Siri because I guess she must get a lot of noise from the road, especially if I'm going highway speeds, because I'll be, Siri, play some Led Zeppelin. And she'll be like, playing songs by Justin Bieber. No, 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 Siri, Led Zeppelin. Not, not that I have any Justin Bieber. Siri, play Led Zeppelin. Now playing album Lost in the 80s. Siri, and so we'll do this for like, you know, a mile or two. Finally, it's like, Siri, just play whatever you want to listen to. I had that happen one time. I was like, Siri, call my wife. She's like, now calling so-and-so. So, you know, I'm dialing so-and-so and not meaning to. I'm like, no, 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 stop the call. Siri, call my wife. Now calling so-and-so. So I had to get hold of my wife. So we're doing this thing for miles. And I got off the highway and I got on the road and I'm finally like almost to my destination. Siri, for the love of Pete, would you just now dialing? And she called my wife. She knows, man. She knows that she's out to get me. Siri, just play whatever it is you think I want to hear. So I was watching a video the other day and they had their headsets all linked up. Somebody said, you know, you could share your music amongst your group over the Cena headset. And I'm thinking, yeah, I don't want to do that. I play in random mode. And sometimes it'll, it's musical whiplash. I'll go from Hank Williams to, or Hank Williams Jr. to Public Enemy, you know? So I'll be cruising along, I'll be listening to different music, and you know, there's a lot of stuff that I haven't heard in a while, and something will come on, this, this one song in particular, and it keeps coming on, I'm like, oh, I kind of dig that. I don't know what it is, but I don't recognize it. It's not bad. And I'm riding along, and suddenly it's, it's Hanson. I'm listening to Hanson and enjoying it. It's embarrassing. It's almost like waving to mopeds. You just hope that nobody can see you. So I can't be sharing that stuff out because I don't know what's going to come up on my playlist. And yet, because I'm such a compulsive collector, I, I can't delete it. I just can't. Can't bring myself to it. I've got a huge music collection that I will never listen to. But instead of deleting it, I've just moved it to another folder. I should probably do that with the Hanson. It's like that video where uh, the bunch of bikers go into a bar and end up fighting over what to play on the on the jukebox and they end up playing Keisha, you know, dancing to the whole thing. Yeah, that's that's my life. Yeah, that's how it rolls. But yeah, I like music on the on the bike. You know, if you're stuck in traffic, oh, music makes it a whole lot better. And I'm stuck in traffic a pretty fair amount. But as I said, there are times if I get out for a ride and I just find that I have a really tough time winding down or unfocusing, shut the music off and just riding actually seems to help an awful lot. Sometimes you don't want music. And it's nice to have that option. I was coming back from the smoke out a couple years ago and it was an early Sunday morning and there was fog on the, in the trees and I was going down this road that was just, there was nothing there. Nothing but trees and woods. Oh, it was gorgeous. The temperature was perfect because it was early and the sun was just coming up and shining through the mist. A little bit of classical music. Ha, 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 ha. It was amazing. It was an amazing experience. And, you know, it would have been great without the music, but the music made it a little bit sweeter. I know there are people who frown on music, you know, as, as a biker, you should want to just listen to the engine all the time and the sound of the wind. And I get it. Sometimes I just want to hear a little Led Zeppelin or Johnny Cash. Something magical about Johnny Cash on a motorcycle. I'm just saying. Now my preferred demise is to ride my motorcycle into a black hole with the back tire on fire and listening to Johnny Cash. It's just a good time. I like the music. You know, I think I've mentioned before that several months ago I'm sitting at the stop sign on my beautiful, gorgeous Harley Davidson listen to a little Paramore, which is way too young a generation of music for me to listen to, but I like it, so the old stuff, I, I don't really like the new stuff much. I like the old stuff with the Faro Brothers that had a lot of energy to it, but music, man, music sets the tone. I heard somebody say once that, well, life doesn't have a soundtrack to it. No, actually, it really does, whether you admit it or not, it absolutely does. Do what you want to do, enjoy it, have fun, that's what it's all about. But I do thank you for coming along and 
I will see you tomorrow.